This is our guide to Santa Barbara with kids. We're heading to the American Riviera. Situated on a south-facing section of the coastline, this city lies between the Santa Ynez Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. We're at Lotus Land. This garden is home to more than 3,000 plants from all over the world. First, we're visiting the Japanese garden. A portion of the garden is obscured and then the scenic view is uncovered behind it. This is called hide and reveal. A common method used in Japanese gardens. Next is the Aloe Garden. This place reminds me of the drawings from Dr. Seuss. Open to the public in 1993, Lotusland is a historic estate of opera singer Madame Ganawalska. He purchased this estate in 1941 and spent the next 43 years creating Lotusland. There are many interesting plants here. This plant doesn't have any roots, this plant can be poisonous, and this plant can be used as an umbrella. Now we're in the cactus garden. Ah, creepy face. I am pretending to touch a cactus to scare baby. Lastly, we're in the topiary garden. This section features a horticultural clock 25 feet in diameter. There's even a labyrinth to get lost in. We had so much fun at Lotusland. Please make your reservation at lotusland.org. We are at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Opened in 1963, this 30-acre zoo features more than 600 animals. The first time here I was zero, then five, and this is now. This is baby when he was zero, and now when he's three. First we're going to ride the zoo train. This is the C.P. Huntington train that circles the perimeter of the zoo. We're going to the behind the scenes area. What are the two monkeys doing there? Look, our train's going over a bridge. Over here is a lion. Rawr! Ta -ta, ta -ta, pony. <laughs> Baby was scared of the dark. Next, we're going to pan for gold at Tynake's Mining Camp. The instructor is showing us how to wash away the dirt. And then it's my turn to try. Look at the size of this. I got so many treasures. Lastly, we're going on the giraffe experience. Now we're going to feed the giraffe. I'm giving it some lettuce. And now it's baby's turn. We had so much fun at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Please visit sbzoo.org to purchase your tickets. We're heading to Sturm's Wharf. We are at the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History Sea Center. This museum offers numerous marine exhibits and a window on the Santa Barbara Channel. Now we're in the shark tank. Look at all the baby sharks, they're so cute. Baby is crawling through a tunnel. Now he's playing with a puzzle. It's time for the touch pool. We're pulling up the crab net to see if we got any dinner. Bummer, nothing. We're checking out the jellies and friends exhibit. This said dolphin is not fake because we could smell the rotten body. And lastly, we visited the gift shop. We had so much fun at the Sea Center. Find out more at svnature.org slash twsc. This is our passport to history adventure to the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum. This museum preserves the maritime history of the local coast through exhibits, artifacts, and events. Baby, you cannot climb into that canoe. Now he's pretending to drive a boat. This is a giant light bulb from a lighthouse. And this is the children's gallery. Now we're going to look at the periscope. Whoa, 
so many boats. Lastly, we're playing with the simulator. Baby, watch out or we're going to crash. We had so much fun at the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum. And we even got a stamp in our passport. You can get your own booklet at PassportToHistory.com and learn more about this place at sbmm.org. Please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss a video. Also like and share this episode with your friends. And thank you SantaBarbaraCA.com for a great time.